hour, we begin with breaking news in Kenmore. Colvin Boulevard is closed at Kenmore Avenue this morning as arson investigators are on the scene working to figure out how a fire started outside a housing complex for senior 7 News reporter Taylor Epps live at the scene for us. Taylor, what do you know so far? I know you just spoke with the police chief. What did he tell you? Ed, good morning to you. I just finished talking to the chief of the Kenmore Fire Department who broke it all down for me. It, feels, it seems like Colvin's going to be open in the next hour or so. That's after they get all of the people who live in this building onto NFT buses. As you can see here, they're loading people on and getting them to the Kenmore Community Center where they can stay until the apartments are ready for them to be back open again. So what happened here was a dumpster fire started around 3.30. Kenmore Fire Department responded, put the fire out within 10 minutes, but the fire and the smoke caught the side of the building and the smoke got into the ventilation system, which messed things up for the ventilation system, causing smoke to go all throughout the building, which is what people smelled. And we talked to one person earlier who described that smoke for me. Listen. Thick smoke. It was very thick smoke. So now I know that's what ends up killing people is the smoke. So much smoke. But from what I hear, I think everybody else is safe and everything. Yeah, and there was just a fire in this area, in the Hurdle area, just yesterday. Yeah. Tragic fire. Everybody is okay. The chief tells me all of the firefighters are okay. What they have to do now is just clear the ventilation system and make sure everything is safe for people to get back in this building. They're putting them in the community center, and it's going to take a little bit because they have to get everyone's medication. They have to make sure everyone's pets are okay. Now, as far as what caused the fire, the arson investigators are here with the dogs to do some work to figure that out. But right now, the fire chief tells me there's no cause for concern for this neighborhood. We're not live in Kenmore. Taylor Epps, 7 News.